So I just got done watching Curtis Blades versus Sergei Pavlovich. And I got to say, I've never been more confused in my whole entire life. Like, did they do any fight study whatsoever on this guy? Did they have a game plan? And if they had a game plan, what part of this man's style, what, what aspect of this matchup made them think that the correct approach to fighting Sergei Pavlovich is striking with him? You have Sergei Pavlovich, a man who has uh, 18 wins and one loss. All right, that's 18 wins and one loss. Um, well, before this fight, it was 17 wins and a single loss. Most of those wins have come by knockout or TKO. And the one loss he has on his record is against Alistair Overeem, a guy who's a striker. Admittedly, a striker who also has really good grappling, but a man who's predominantly a striker who took down Pavlovich, tripped him, passed his guard, and then TKO'd him on the ground. The one loss he has is by ground and pound on the ground. And he's fighting Curtis Blades, a man with very good grappling, a man with dominant wrestling, a man who's done this for a long, long, long time. And you're going in there against a striker, a powerful man, the likes of Sergei Pavlovich, and you spend the whole entire, the whole entire first round striking with the guy? I, I, I'm, I am just flabbergasted, honestly. Like, I, I, I don't understand what happened. I can't imagine that they watched tape, they sat down in fighter meetings, him and his team, they spent as, as, as much as they, they spent training for this fight, and it never came up. Maybe Curtis Blaze just decided to uh, strike the moment he entered the fight. Because at, at some point in the first round, dude, I'm, I'm just blown away. I'm freaking stuttering because I'm just blown away at what I just watched. At one point in the first round, uh, Pavlovich hit him with a shot. Hit him with a shot through his guard. And you can see uh, Curtis Blades' whole demeanor change. And maybe that completely scrambled his brain and threw him off and he forgot what the game plan was. Maybe he got concussed by that very first shot and he was fighting on autopilot. The whole it's possible, dude, because I, I don't know what other explanation I could possibly give as to why the the... He shot once in the first round, and it was already after he was badly hurt. I'm I'm so confused at as at, at what just happened right now, bro. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense. Pavlovich is so freaking fast as a heavyweight, which of course makes the fact that he's also heavy-handed just so much more dangerous because. When you're that heavy-handed and you're that big and you move that fast, I mean, you're going to just you're going to be packing so much power with every single shot. He hurt Curtis Blades multiple times in that first round. I mean, he was just hitting him at will, jabbing him at will, right? Early on, Curtis looked, you know, he looked decent on the feet. He looked like, you know, maybe he was going to try to use his jab to set up uh, a, a takedown. And maybe it's possible um, after getting uppercutted by uh, Derek Lewis, maybe there was a bit of hesitation, right? Because really, really early on, Sergey Pavlovich threw like a, a few uppercuts up the up the middle just to kind of you know discourage that takedown. So it's very possible that was maybe something that's that that scared Curtis Blades and discouraged him from shooting. That's a possibility, but like it's like. You got to shoot. <laughs> you have to. You just have to. Against a guy like Sergei Pavlovich, you, you just have to, man. The man's got a solid chin. He's got power out the freaking wazoo. He's fast as hell for a guy as big as he is. And his boxing is crisp. It's just a death sentence to not try to take the fight to the ground. Right? So, I don't even know what this means now for Curtis Blades. Because going into this, right, it was supposed to be, you know, he defeats Sergei Pavlovich. John Jones and Stipe Miocic fights. Whoever wins that fight, maybe Curtis Blades gets another title shot. But, like, 
Sergei just essentially stole his title shot, right? I'm not saying Sergei is going to, you know, sit out and wait for a resolution between John Jones and Stipe Miocic. That's not what I'm saying. He might end up fighting uh, before that. Before that, but if he doesn't, I mean, everybody is going to be clamoring for the man to get the next title shot because he looks good. Like I, I definitely want to see him versus John Jones. Now, do I think he's going to beat John Jones? I really don't think so. Especially when you go and go back and you watch that fight between um, Sergey and Alistair Overeem. It, it, you know. The, the, the weapons Alistair Overeem used in that fight are weapons that John Jones are very good at. And I've talked about this many, many, many times. Some of the absolute best way, well, the two best ways to take down a big guy is um, with a whole lot of off balancing. So you either work towards the back from standing, you work towards the back, and then from the back, you take him down. That's really effective. Or you use like foot sweeps to get them off balance. And if you get a big guy off balance, a lot of times they just fall over on their own weight. Um, unless you get a really, really athletic guy, right? A really athletic guy. But I mean, the foot sweep that, that Alistair Overeem used to, to sit the man down, it wasn't anything too crazy, right? He just sw swept him, pushed him, a whole lot of Kazushi off balance. He fell over and ended up on his back. And on his back, he was flat on his back. You know, he didn't look like he really knew anything, like he knew what he was doing uh, from from off his back. His guard got passed very easily by Alistair Overeem, and the ground and pound was very quick. He just got him out of there. So um, I definitely think John Jones will be able to get him down if they ever fall. And if John Jones gets that guy down, he's not going to get up, and he's probably just going to get pounded out. Um, so I I'm not too worried for John in that fight. But it'd still be an interesting fight to watch, you know, definitely. The more interesting fight would have been Curtis Blades versus John Jones. Because John would have had issues taking down Curtis Blades, you know. I think John would be the better striker. But I think out grappling Curtis Blades, it would have, it would have just been a more interesting matchup. You know what I mean? It would have been a more interesting matchup. But my goodness, man. What a, what a, what a, what a night. What a night. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting whatsoever. But hey, it ended like it ended. And uh, congratulations. Major congratulations to Sergei Pavlovich. I can't wait to see that man back in there. I'm going to leave it at that. Short and sweet. Let me know what you guys think about the fight in the comment section. Or were you as surprised as I was to see the game, the game plan or lack thereof? Let me know in the comment section. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good one.